Hey, what's going on, guys? Eddie again here on the Falibu channel. And uh, I made a video earlier and uh, I wasn't capturing the right window. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of go over what I went through there. And this is basically a follow up to the, the references images uh, videos that I was making in Masterpiece VR. Again, I'm here in Masterpiece VR. So. Um, I went ahead and modeled it out, just a rough draft, just real quick, to make sure that I could do it and uh, that, you know, to see if I was going to have any problems. And that way, if I came to you with any problems, I would have some solutions to go with it. And so this is what I came out with. It did not come out half bad. This took me about 20 minutes to tell you the truth. Maybe like, 30 minutes tops but uh you know she let's make her a full-on sculpture you know you can see her face came out pretty well and her ears didn't come out half bad she's got some she's got some problem areas on her arms but nothing that can't be remedied a little smoothing and indenting and uh, so, yeah, you know, it didn't come out half bad. Her hands, ah, uh, this is, it's, it's not where it should be. But, you know, I can fix that. This was, like I said, this was just a rough draft. I figured I got this middle finger, and that middle finger, I like it a lot. Came out, came out pretty good. That's kind of more or less what I had in mind for a finger. Uh, so I was like, ah, I just threw those in just to fill in the space her boobs i made it anatomically correct just because i wanted to try the pinch tool and it took me literally a second to add a nipple to make her anatomically correct in the chest but uh she's a little too she does not very realistic but you know it is what it is her back right here probably smooth that out a bit too But, uh, yeah, you know, it's not too bad for a rough draft, I don't think. I like that the, it was very easy to do these clavicles. And uh, I didn't think it would be. So I was very pleased with that. That was very cool. And you can see I did her stomach. It's, it's still a little off. But nothing I can't fix with some smoothing in the, in the roundup. Oh, I forgot to turn mirror on anyway, so I'm going to have to reset all of this. So I'm just, Anyways, this is just a rough draft, and uh, I wanted to test out some tools. That way I wasn't a complete novice with them when uh, when I was trying to use them. And so I thought I would make this video to show to show those tools. So first of all, let me go to mirror mode because it's just like, I'm, I, I just, I should be in mirror mode like all the time. Now you probably might not be able to see it because it's very faint, but there's a blue line here in the middle and that shows the mirror so uh <clears throat> i figured i would show off some of these tools that i was learning how to use because i was like uh you know what this would be helpful okay so first of all just to separate you know after you you're done using your hand-drawn model uh, i mean your hand-drawn reference image as a cage you can get rid of it so i think that's brush what is it is it grab? It might be grab. Let me see. Well, let me see what select does first. Let's see what happens when I select it. All right, so everything's selected. Nothing, nothing happens. It's just selected. Oh, I guess I could cut, copy, paste. And then I can paste it over here. Yeah, see, and then I now I have it out of the model. And now it's just the model that's left. And the mirror's still on the model. It's gonna bug me to look at this. So yeah, I mean, you can see she didn't come out terrible in the rough draft phase. 
and again this was like the equivalent of because i'm a sketch artist so this is like the equivalent of just sketching something out on a napkin or something before i take it to you know my sketchbook See, sometimes when, and again, this video is just, because I'm going to do another video where I re-sculpt her just out of that, and uh, I'm going to do that live for y'all so you can follow along and see more or less how I do it. Uh, but you, in some cases, I, and this video is really just to talk about some of the tools. Uh, in this case where you would think, oh, hey, let me shrink this in, I think no, because I think when you take it to Blender or whatever you're going to use for, you know, to, to retopologize and or whatever else you're going to do to your model uh it's just it's going to be all of that geometry it's just going to be shrunken in so this way you just you're clearing out geometry you know, you know instead of just shrinking it so i don't know i figured that would be worth mentioning so another thing was that uh <clears throat> as you can see from now that i'm seeing her modeled out you can see her arm is going to be way too long. Like, if she were to put this hand down here, it'd probably come to, like, her knee or something. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can select all of it. Okay, I got that. Yeah, see, so you can kind of see her arm is going to be down here. Right, more or less. Well, how bad is that, really, I wonder? I mean, my hand doesn't go down to my knee, but is there really any reason hers shouldn't? My hand comes down to about right here, so let's try to... that there. Let me see if I can shrink all of it. Oh yeah, no, that's wrong. That's terrible. Don't want to do that. I, I, I wish there was a way to, maybe I'm just not seeing how to shrink it. Because in the brushes, you use that grab to shrink it. <clears throat> See, I got this, this right here. Oh, this is getting real laggy because uh, I'm streaming. So about right there. That's going to be good. So I'll just leave that right there. And I'm going to have to fix that again when I, when I come back into it. But, uh, you know, so I don't know. I don't think I can do it with this. Because the only thing I could think of to do would be to shrink it, but that didn't work out quite the way I had hoped. Yeah, see, that didn't that didn't work out the way it turned these fingers all to junk. Well, it didn't really turn out the way I wanted, so. I mean, 
how do I even move it? There's got to be a way. Or is it just with the cut and paste? Oh, hey, there we go with the cut and paste. That's how you resize. Okay, so I learned that live here with you now. See, I think it was at 49. So let's try 42. So let's bring it like 35. That's too small. Let's try like 39. Looks like it's going to be the sweet spot. All right, so that's how you're going to resize stuff. So I need to kind of just smooth this out here. Clean up those lines. Yeah, there you go. You can see how one arm is really huge and then the other arm is. See, on this arm, looks like it's going to make more sense. And just so you can get a, let's see. What do I color? I want to color again. Paint. See, just so you can see her a little bit better. Let me try to give her a dark color. That's pretty cool. Paint her some lipstick just real quick. And this is this is none of this is gonna stay because I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this once uh once I finish this video. I kinda just wanted to make this video to show some of the tools and how I would consider using them. starting to look like a ninja turtle <laughs> maybe i shouldn't have painted her such a dark color of green uh, that looks pretty cool though right that gradient that's actually kind of cool i actually kind of like that a lot as a matter of fact As a matter of fact, sample. I don't know why I didn't cut. Oh, because I think, yeah, one arm is smaller than the other. That's all. This is just to give you, it's that way. I'm kind of coloring this just so you can kind of see what I did with the model as I go over it. 
I'm kind of painting this all so you can kind of just get a visual of what I did with the little practice sketch because I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to start modeling this thing that's going to turn out. I can't do it. <laughs> and that's what this video is going to consist of. But no, it actually was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. And I'm really looking forward to my second pass. I have high hopes that it's going to come out looking really good. So you're getting a really good sense of the model now that I'm doing this paint. I'm just painting over it, and so you're getting to see it from a whole bunch of different angles really quick. Uh, and now that it's a darker color, I can see that this foot was horrible. This foot's going to need a lot of work, but, uh, you know, that's why we practice. I don't know. That's going to take some work. Oh, well. Anyway, I think that's going to about cover pretty much what I wanted to show you, which was how to separate this from that and how to shrink this and we, then we learned how to shrink that using the uh, paste tool on the sculpt menu and uh, you know this was I just wanted to really show off this little rough draft before I deleted it forever because well I mean the, the file will still save there but uh, the, she's this is going to be it'll be a branch away from this this was just a rough draft the second version should be much better though so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I might sculpt the second version here in just a little bit. Uh, I'll leave y'all here with this for now. Until then, until next time, this has been Eddie here on the Fowler Boot Channel, making VR inside out, inside of Masterpiece VR. Take it easy, guys.